Fight Bale has had an incredible 2019 in which he has announced himself on the National Basketball League stage with the UCU Cannons. He turned out for his life in the first division last year, but this year he has actually made a splash with the UCU Cannons in the point guard position and right now they're in the finals tussling with the City Oilers. He also won bronze with the 3x3 national team at the Africa Basketball Championships in Kampala last month. The future surely looks bright for Fight Bali. He's steadily risen. His game has vastly improved over the last seven years to the level that he is now the assistant national team captain. And certainly he's taken on the role, importantly, especially um, in the country's major area uh, to deal with that is batting. Um, he was quite pivotal with that uh, half century that helped Uganda uh, win match number five and actually finish unbeaten in round one of the ICC World Challenge League B um, in Oman that, that concluded early this month. Musagala is not your usual capturer Sebei athlete. He hails from Kaliro, a low lying area. And uh, queer as it is, he has actually uh, proved himself as uh, a formidable long distance runner. He has set three national records at the 1,500 meters this year. He has won the IWF Diamond League legs in Paris and Birmingham. He didn't have a good campaign at the World Championships, but he has already laid down the marker that he is one to look out for in the future. Philip Okorach, even by his own uh, uh, bludgeoning reputation, he will admit this has not been one of his best seasons, but again, he managing to win uh, some silverware here and there in the Enterprise Cup in uh, Kenya where he was the MVP. Uh, he came back to Uganda, I think he was the top try scorer for the rugby cranes both in the sevens squad and the fifteens. Um, again, going to the Africa sevens. Uh, if there was an accolade for MVP, he would quickly go to Philip Okwaj because he, top, he was the top point scorer for Uganda. Uganda getting a chance to play in a, a replay tournament there. Arthur Blake Jr. was one of the best drivers in 2019 despite having uh, some disappointments with his Mitsubishi Evo 9. At times he did not finish like two events, but towards the end he was one of the people, the drivers who managed to put up the sport up, but he was overcame with the consistency of Yasin Nasser. <laughs> 